everybody and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Wednesday the 6th of February at around 4 p.m. and I have a lot of plans for this week. So I'll let you know what I'm currently reading right now. So I'm currently reading Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and I'm on page 150 of this. I'm really enjoying this right now. I think that it's the perfect read for me right now. I'm very focused on fantasy reads and so it's like exactly what I want. And the two other books that I am planning on reading this week are The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried by Sean David Hutcherson. This comes out this month so I have to read it and do a review on it so keep an eye out for that for my channel. And then the other book is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is the group book for Blackathon and so I'm very excited to read this because it is in verse. I'm very interested in that right now. So those are kind of my plans for the rest of the week. Now I do have some very exciting book mail. So I got this package from Raincoast Books, so thank you to them. It's in here, and I know what it is. I am very excited for it. So let's open it up. So Raincoast Books sent me a advanced reader copy of We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Now I am in the We Hunt the Flame street team, and I really wanted a copy of this book so that I could promote it more honestly. Um, while I'm very excited about this book, I do want to read it before like fully committing myself to being like you need to read this book sort of thing so I'm very excited that they had a copy left to give me. So this book comes out in May of 2019 so it comes out in a couple of months and I will be reading this next month along with a lot of other arcs that I need to get to. So We Hunt the Flame is a Middle Eastern inspired fantasy featuring two main characters. Zephira is a hunter who goes to the forest of Ars which is kind of like a haunted forest to to save her people. And then Nasir is the king's assassin and they both go on a mission to find a hidden artifact. And it just sounds so amazing. I am very, very excited to read and review this. Once again, thank you so much to Raincoast Books for sending me a copy of it. I am very excited. This isn't the finished cover of this book. I will leave a link down below for the pre-order information for Barnes and Noble and Chapters if you are interested in pre-ordering this book. If it sounds like something you might be interested in. And I'll also leave a link to Hafsa's website and her Twitter as well. But yeah, very excited to read this. I am trying to push down the urge to pick this up straight away because I have a lot of books that I need to read this month, but I'm just so excited that it might happen. If it happens in this vlog, then don't be too surprised. But yes, I have a lot of editing to do. I still need to edit my vlog that goes out tomorrow. So that needs to happen today but I will be reading a lot more of Children of Blood and Bone today. My goal is to get to page 250 or 300, so around like 150 to 200 pages I should probably read today. It is like day six of booktube games, and so I want to kind of get to 500 pages read today, but we'll see if it actually happens. It might not, but yeah, I will probably update you a little bit later today and kind of go from there. So for now, I will see you later. I made pancakes and I'm very proud of myself. everybody. So it is later on in the evening on the 7th of February and I haven't done like any reading. Um, I didn't do any yesterday because I was busy working on the huge vlog that I just posted today. I'll leave a little link up here. So I'm still on page 150 of Children of Blood and Bone. I'm hoping to do some reading tonight but I'm honestly like King of Scars left me in a little bit of a slump. I just feel like I want to experience the entire novel for the first time all over again and that's kind of a problem problem because it's the booktube games and I'm slacking a lot like sorry team Keradan teammates. The good thing though is that I have a bunch of mail and other things to show you so 
I guess this is kind of like a mini haul. So yeah, I went to the bookstore and Walmart um, to do some grocery shopping with my best friend Clarice tonight, with my best friend Clarice, and yes. So I went to the bookstore, I got a couple of books, and then I got a package in the mail from Raincoast. So very excited to open that. So I'm gonna kind of like show you what I got from Indigo first. So the first book that I purchased is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kamenner. This is a contemporary fantasy retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which I am so excited about. This has been getting like rave reviews and I don't think I've read a lot of contemporary fantasies and I am a slut for Beauty and the Beast retellings. So very excited for this. It does have a little bit of rep. It has cerebral palsy rep. I can't personally speak on the rep, but I'm very excited to read about this actually. I don't know too much else about this, but I do know that it's like an alternate universe fantasy, which I haven't read a lot of either, so excited to read this. The next book that I purchased and I'm so excited about, I've been literally waiting for this release since it was announced, is Enchanté by Gita Trelisse. And this is a fantasy set in 1700s Paris where the main character uses something called petty magic to turn silver into gold and to continue to help support her family after her parents get killed by smallpox. So very excited. It features characters such as Louis the 16th and his spouse, Marie Antoinette. So very excited to read this. I do have a package to open as well. Now, as I said, this is from Raincoast Books and I am so excited because this is full of gay stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the first book that I got from Raincoast Books is Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi. I'm so excited. This is going to be like the queer summer romance of my life. Um, I am very excited to read this. The tagline is a queer hate to love story you need in your life. Just like, look at this cover. This is so gay, I am so here for it. So this novel comes out in June and I am just like, I'm so excited, I wanna read it right now. <laughs> but I can't because I have so many books to read. But yeah, essentially it is a hate to love and one of the main characters is a cheerleader and then another one of the main characters is kind of like a movie producer. And yeah, very excited. Very, very, very excited. I'm so excited for this next book. Oh my gosh. So the next book that I received is <laughs> Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. So essentially this is an FF fantasy and it is thick. Let me give you the actual page count. This is not including the glossary because there is a large glossary at the back which is actually very helpful. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of characters. I feel like I'm reading spoilers now at this point. <laughs> so there's 804 pages in this novel. I just like, I am so excited that I have this. I am so freaking excited. So thank you so much to Raincoast Books for sending both of these my way. I am so freaking excited. You made a queer girl's night like a hundred times better. Now the bad thing about this is that I just wanna start reading this now. I might do it. I know that I have a lot of books to read. I'm looking at my like TBR right there and it's a lot, but I might start reading this. I am just like, oh. I'm so excited. Now that I'm done like gushing and being really dumb, I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm actually kind of hungry now. I'm gonna make like pasta, I think. And then I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna probably try and read a little bit more of Children of Blood and Bone. But if I don't, then I might start on Prior of the Orange Tree. I mean, I do have an excuse. This comes out on the 26th. So I need to get like a head start if I want to read 803 pages, but yeah, I'm gonna try and read a little bit more of this. So I'll probably check back in with you in a little bit once I've done like screaming <laughs> and yeah.
everybody. So it is currently around 5.30 on the 8th of February and I haven't really done a lot of reading today. So I'm currently on page 255 of Children of Blood and Bone. I'm very much enjoying it. I really like the dynamics between the characters. I will say though, Inan is boring. <laughs> I do not like his chapters right now. I just like kind of boring. So yeah, I am going to aim to get around page 400 right now. And then I am going to start on the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I am so excited to dive into this one. My reward for finishing my workout this morning was to read the first 250 pages of this. So this is gonna be my reward today. Very excited. Yes. I just finished filming a book haul, which is supposed to be going up next week, but I might postpone it to the week after. We'll see. But that is in the works right now. I'm just doing like editing and thumbnails and yeah. So I will update you a little bit later once I've finished reading for a bit and we'll go from there. Okay, so it is Sunday and I have had so many issues with filming today. <laughs> Holy shit, my camera died halfway through me talking about stuff. So that's great, love that for me. I have a couple of things to update you on. So I both started and finished The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo yesterday. I started a trial of script. I tried two months for free and I've listened to a couple of audiobooks already, but I finished the audiobook for this book here and I also tabbed it as well. I have like a different technique for tabbing poetry. Um, so I tab poetry just with one color tab. It's the purple one at the very top there, so the kind of like lilac-y color. So that's how I tab my poetry books. Yeah, it's just basically every poem that I like, and there were a lot... I don't know if you can see. There were a lot that I really connected with. This book is definitely a five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I love all of the themes that were very prevalent in the story. I loved Ziomara. I thought that she was an amazing character and I really liked her teacher as well, the one that got her into poetry. I can't quite remember her name right now. I'll put it on the screen here when I find out. in my bathroom. All right, so I'm just chilling in my bathroom because I didn't want to set up my lighting, but I finished Children, Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I gave it a four out of five stars. I am so excited to get the next book. I am so excited to see where all of the storylines go. There were a couple of like really big plot twists in there that I was like, oh my god. So yes, I very, very much enjoyed it. So I think what I'm gonna do now is start on Priory of the Orange Tree. We're gonna try to get to like page 120, maybe 125, see how I do there. And then I'm going to go to the gym and then also probably take a bath. I am working tomorrow, but... Hopefully I'll have time to film after I am home. I will probably update you a little bit later, let you know how I'm liking Priori. It's like the weirdest filming location I've ever done. That's too bright. Ugh. There goes my train. So I haven't updated the vlog in quite a little bit actually. Um, I've been taking a break from filming just because um, I had like a meltdown of like astronomical proportions the other day. Um, I got my hair cut on Thursday and it was kind of like a date with my boyfriend. It was my Valentine's Day present and it was just not what I wanted and I just like died inside and spent like five hours crying. 
Um, I like it now. It's still not what I wanted, but yeah. So I just like took a couple days off from filming, but I'm fine now so I can start filming again. I'll give you a little bit of an update on what I'm reading currently. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of reading lately. There were a couple of days where I just didn't read at all, but I read quite a bit last night. So I'm still on page 200 of Priory of the Orange Tree. I'm taking a little bit of a break from reading this as well because it is very dense and I don't have to complete it until the end of February. So I'm taking a break from this but I am still really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying all of the world building and the characterizations and stuff like that. It's just a little bit too heavy for me right now. And then I am currently on page 385 of The Clockwork Prince and I am so 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 excited to finish this. I am absolutely loving it. I love the whole tension slash love triangle slash polyamorous relationship between Tessa, Will, and Jem. I think that I prefer Jem, but I also like, I don't know. I just like them both. And I just think that Tessa is just the sweetest, purest little bean ever. And I just want her to be protected all the time. She's like the cutest bookworm ever. I love her so much. And just all of the scenes with her and Jem in this book just make me die inside. They're so good. I think that the romantic tension is amazing. I think that all of the mysteries are incredible and I'm just very excited to see what is going to happen. I was buddy reading this with Ali Corvair and Alexandra Roslin. I think that Ali finished it. Yes, Ali did finish it. I'm not too sure where Lexi is, but I don't think that she finished it. So hopefully we're like in the same realm, but we will be picking up Clockwork Princess after that. I still started reading Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers and I think I'm gonna DNF it because I don't like it at all. I don't like the narrator of the audiobook and I think that the storyline is moving a little bit too fast. I might pick it up again at some point, but I just think that I'm gonna DNF it. So yeah, right now I am waiting for my friends to get here. They're in from out of town. And so we're gonna go to kind of like an arcade slash adult Chuck E. Cheese's, I guess. And we're gonna play some arcade games, stuff like that. So I might be able to get some footage from there, but if not, then I will probably update you tomorrow. the 18th of February on a Monday and I will be wrapping up this weekly reading vlog. This was a long one so I went from the 6th to the 18th so it's two weeks I guess but I did finish quite a lot of books in those like two weeks so I will give you an overview of that. The first book that I finished was Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I give this a four out of five stars. The next book that I finished was The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo and I gave this a five stars. And the last book that I finished, I actually finished last night, so I'll give you a little bit of my thoughts on it. I finished Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, and I gave this a four star. So I really enjoyed this. I just found that the beginning was a little bit slow, and then the ending was also a little bit slow towards, like, the very end, and then it left on a cliffhanger. So I really enjoyed all of the romantic tension in here. I really enjoyed all of the characterization. I especially enjoyed Will's character arc. I thought that that was really interesting and I love him. He is my darling boy, but I think that Jim was probably my favorite character in this book. I thought that he was just so sweet. I loved him so much and I am very excited to see what the finale is gonna bring. All right, and there you have it. Those are all of the books that I kind of read in the last two weeks. 
I'll give you a little visual here, I guess. Very proud of myself. Very, very proud. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. All of my social media links will be down in the description box below if you would like to follow me on any of those. I will see you in my next weekly reading vlog. I will be back to doing regular weekly reading vlogs, I promise. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!